sell it. You know. See, people think you come to like really play games. And I did it this time. Hey queen, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you would like to see how I produce this look, feel free to stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Okay, what I'm just doing is just wiping my face with a baby wipe. Just making sure my face is free of any oils or dirt. And as you've seen, I'm just using my Milani Prime Shield Primer just to wipe all over my face to get it nice and mattified. Just spraying this over my face as also a way of priming my face before foundation. And I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and set my eyelids. Now I'm just using my Coastal Sense Creative Me palette and my Ruby Kisses blending fluffy blending brush and grabbing that orange right there. And I am just going to pop that all over the top right above my crease. And then I'm going back into that same palette and I'm just grabbing that color red and I am going to put that just right below the orange with that brush. I do apologize it has no numbers but it is the Real Techniques Bold Metal Brushes. Going into the Bad Habits Athena palette, I am going to go ahead and grab a hold of the color, I believe that is Power. And that is just a little deeper than that red. It's kind of like a cranberry. And that is the color I am going to start going into my crease with as a way of making it now bolder going into the darker shades. Now into the Bad Habits Retro Love Palette, I am going to go ahead and go even deeper with the colors, grabbing hold of this beautiful eggplant purple, and I believe, I forgot the name of that shade, but I will link it below. Always check my description boxes because if I mispronounce or missay or do not say the name of something, it will always be in the description box to correct information. And as you can see, I'm going ahead and I'm popping that into the crease and keeping it alongside the outer V. Now I am going back with that fluffy brush, what I initially used the orange with. And I'm just going back and a lot of times the colors tend to hide behind one another. But I'm just going back with this fluffy blending brush and just blending everything in using that orange. I will be using the NYX white base to cut my crease. And I will say that this is quite oily and slippery, but allow just a few moments or minutes to dry. Like I said, this um, NYX white base, it says in the description on the actual packaging that it's to help your shadows become vibrant and you know to hold the shadows in place but with this particular eyeshadow base I find that as you can see it's real wet like kind of oily as you can see because what it was doing was just pretty much just moving my shadow that I had already had on my lid all over the place so you want to allow this uh, quite a bit of minutes to go ahead and dry um, to not dry completely, but to dry enough to where when you pack the shadow into the base, it won't move, it won't budge, and it won't crease. Um, that's another thing that it, I believe it said in the description to prevent from creasing. If you don't let it dry, it definitely will crease. So take your time. And this, I'm kind of new on the cut and crease thing. So it took me quite a bit of time than what you're seeing here on the video, but I just wanted you to pretty much see firsthand, well not firsthand, but to see how to cut the crease. As you can see, I have large eyelids, so I, you know, kind of made it wider, made my eyes look wide because with this particular look, I wanted lots of drama. So elongating the eyelids gave it just that the drama 
and you just want to take your time try not to lift your eyelids too much because then it's going to hit you know what you did all that work at right above where you cut the crease so you kind of want to keep your lid look towards the ground a little bit or look down so that you won't mess up all that hard work and you definitely 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 want to make sure you kind of like thin this product out as you can see what i'm doing i packed it on thick at first but what i'm doing is i'm just stretching it because this will cut down on the amount of time that it takes for this base to dry and like i said take your time and just make sure that you do it nice and neat because when you cut the crease obviously we want a sharp line lots of drama lots of preciseness so take your time going into the bad habit aphrodite palette I am going to go ahead and grab a shadow out of this palette, which I believe the shadow is called Joy, I believe. Again, it will be in the description box. I'm going to grab that color right there, and I am going to apply that. As you can see, I've already started off camera, but I am just going to push that color into that eyeshadow base. That way it prevents from any creasing, and your shadow won't move or slip. And you just pack it in. That way we can get that vibrancy. And this color can be nice and solid. No slip throughs. Now we're getting ready to go into another palette. Which is one of my faves right now. Which is the Juvia's Masquerade palette. And I'm getting ready to grab that beautiful blue right there. I believe it is called... I forgot. I don't even know why I'm trying to say the names of... <laughs> of the eyeshadows but I don't have them near me right now but I am going in with the other side of that same shader brush because I didn't have another one near me a clean one and I am going to pack that and just take it all the way on out to the end of this tail and just packing it and I really love this palette because as you can see oh my god I didn't even have to dip my brush too deep into this palette and as you can see it is solid i didn't have to do much work with don't get me wrong with the bad habits i didn't neither but i really love this one because even without a base my shadow would have showed up like this so good job juvia beautiful palettes and i definitely plan on owning owning every single one of juvia's palettes yes So I went ahead and did the look off camera on one eye because I wasn't sure what I was going for. And I applied the glitter with the dual lash glue and I like this glue because it has the little small brush where you can apply the glue easily. So the glitter that you just saw were the little packets that you can get from Walmart out of the arts and crafts section. I'm just grabbing this nice lavender purple and applying this first in the middle of the lid. Next, I am getting ready to apply um, the other shade of glitter, which really matches this eyeshadow perfectly. I needed some more lash glue because it dried after applying the first shade of glitter so i'm just going back putting it on the blue and basically what i'm just doing is allowing the glitter to cover all, a little over half of my eyelid and i'm just pressing it into that glue and doing it this way allows you to apply a thin layer of glitter as you can see it's nice it's radiant it's sparkly and you can see it, and it's not harmful to the eyes. So now I'm going in, getting ready to start with my NYX Matte Eyeliner. And of course, this is in the color black. Getting ready to line my top lid. Um, I just want to kind of show you, because I get a lot of questions 
about using the liquid liner because a lot of people that I found find the liquid liners a lot challenging. I actually prefer a liquid liner over a pencil liner. That's just something uh, of my, my preference. Um, but I'm just going in and I'm just following the shape of my eye. And I am going to go thicker. But after I basically track where I want the liner to go and creating a wing. And usually once I get the wing exactly where I want it and how I want it, then I'll go back over again, such as now. And just going back and I'm just thickening the line as I go. And I love this liner because it goes on wet, but it dries matte. And I love all my eyeliners to be matte. You just want to take your time because we applied that glitter so it can get a little bumpy while going over the lip. glitter. Can't talk today, but just take your time so you can get the line nice and straight. Now I'm getting ready to darken my waterline, which is basically that area right where your eyelashes start with my e.l.f. cream liner. And I just use this to just darken up my waterline. And I just do this to add more drama and volume to my lashes. So I applied my Eye Lore by Crazy Ray Ray, um, a collab that she did with Eye Lore. Lore. <laughs> And I applied my falsies and now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk to line my bottom waterline. Now going into my Bad Habits Aurora palette. I'm going to grab this nice little neon green color and I am just going to set that Jumbo Pencil that we put at the bottom. And I'm just going to use this eyeshadow to set that base. That way that color can appear radiant. And like I said, we are creating drama. So I'm going in with my NYX eyeliner once again. And I am going to line my lower lid with this. And we're going to go and we're going to smudge it and shade it in that way it can add lots of volume there also and what I did was I set that eyeliner the NYX matte eyeliner I went and set it with a black shadow from the Aurora Bat Habit palette and just to smoke out my bottom lid and now what I'm just using was using that baby wipe from earlier and I'm just cleaning up any fallout that fell on my cheek and just want to be very careful not to wipe away all that hard work that we've just accomplished and just so that blue or any other colors that fell out won't mix in with my foundation and my powders and everything just want a nice clean slate and definitely don't want that glitter to seep through. So this is just clean up time. All right, y'all. So that is the final. This is the final overall look of how this. I look came together with my foundation, my lip, my highlight, my contouring. So this is the look of everything coming together. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe. I mean, what you doing, sis? Why you ain't subscribe yet? Come on, let's help each other from one woman to another. So it's right down now and do what you came here to do. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. But I would love if you guys would like this video and subscribe. 
I put in the description box everything that I used in this video and also any of my other videos um, feel free to check out also such as my brow routine which I will be doing an updated video on that because a couple of things have changed since I made that video but my foundation highlight and contouring that video is very very much so recent so feel free to check that video out um, and a couple of the other videos that I have done I told y'all I'm here I came to murder 2018 because we ain't playing we ain't joking we came here to do what we love to do, and that's to slay. So, I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. As always, thank you so much for supporting me and sharing my social media content. I'm sorry, my nose trying to run and my hands dirty. Oh, well. But thank you so much, and I just feel the love, and I feel the support, and I thank you guys. And also, on Monday, we will be announcing the winner of my first 2018 giveaway for the Bad Habit Athena palette. So, you guys, please stay tuned for that. And I believe that is all. And until next time, ladies, you already know by now. Peace. Bye.